Assalamualaikum. Uh, it's me, Taiba Bintu Bulbul. So today's topic was uh, teaching of English in Bangladesh. Uh, actually, uh, it has been always a one of the toughest challenge uh, to learn and teach English in our country because we don't have the uh, we don't have enough enough facilities and opportunities to do these things. Uh, and I think uh, most of the teachers are not well trained to teach their students. And I can remember when I was in my kindergarten, so the teacher was way too much tough in teaching. Uh, so no one was uh, permitted to ask him anything if they face any difficulties and we couldn't he was he, yeah he was um, good at english but he was not friendly enough to uh, interact with uh, students so i think teachers should cooperate too otherwise how could the students will uh, will be learned and and yeah that's the thing uh, and when i was uh, gotten chance in my school uh, the school was from uh, class 4 to class 10 and it's the best school of uh, Netrukona, Netrukona Government High School. In, uh, in that uh, seven or eight years, only, only once we got a chance to uh, participate in a uh, spoken exam and the topic was uh, was provided before that you will be asked your name, your father's name, uh, and these these things. And only once we were uh, uh, we faced a uh, we faced these types of things. Uh, I mean, uh, spoken English type things. So so we are not provided enough facilities to practice, uh, and that's how uh, we are not. Uh, enough, we had not enough chance to improve our English skills. So that's it. And uh, and even, even now, uh, in my department, I thought every department uh, in public universities or every department in universities uh, provide a lot of presentations. Uh, students are to participate in a lot of presentations uh, and things like that. But we, uh, we, in reality, we actually are to uh, participate in a presentation once a year or twice a year. And it's not sufficient for us to be fluent, to, to be confident in uh, presenting ourselves. Um, and in English, most, uh, and all of our courses are in English. So it's a problem. Uh, and uh, I can remember uh, I had a Facebook friend. So uh, he was from uh, English department. And when I uh, knew his department was English, I wanted to talk to him in English, but he got me wrong. He thought I, uh, I made his my friend because he was from English department. Um, just because I want to improve my English. My intention was not like that. So I faced some problems. And uh, in my department, I made some friends. I requested all of them to uh, practice spoken with me, but they all made fun of me. So yeah learning and learning is uh, learning uh, English in our country is not that an easy thing for us. And if I were a policymaker, then I would make it uh, a compulsory, uh, I, I, would made, I would make it compulsory to, uh, uh, to face the teachers of English uh, to participate and pass in the four 
basic skills in English. Uh, these are speaking, listening, writing, and reading. And most of the teachers, and uh, if the teachers uh, would pass, then he, he will be able to uh, be an English teacher. Uh, and two or three days ago, uh, I had a mentorment talk with uh, Ishtia Khusa and Munshi Bhaya, and I, I talked to him for a bit long time, and I told him that uh, my favorite subject was English before I uh, get myself admitted into my university but I couldn't um, uh, admit in English department because uh, I was informed that there is session dot in uh, in in English department so Bhaya said that that in other countries uh, uh, mentioned that too, that in our country, English is a subject and there, there are a lot of formalities and uh, they organize many things uh, to teach English, but they do not uh, take it seriously or they cannot provide enough uh, facilities to teach the students. But in other countries, uh, English is just a language. So, so it was not bad that I was admitted in a different, in other department. Yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Bulbul.